Hi, this is Eric Tollefsud from Insider Software, and I'm going to show you how to reset the Fun Engine Pro preferences. Sometimes you need to do this when um, your your Fun Engine Pro window just seems to be a little odd, it looks a little weird, or or uh, you just need to uh, kind of get back to to the original default set that Fun Engine Pro came with. Um, as you can see here, I've actually kind of made Fun Engine Pro look pretty hideous. I've got WYSIWYG turned on, and I'm sorted by family, and uh, you know I've made the fonts bigger by you know clicking these up and down buttons. And oh, let's take a look at this font compare window. I've made the background color red and and uh, the the font color green, and you know why don't let's just make it bigger too? Why not? And uh, we can even make it, uh, Fun Engine Pro look even more weird and and different by um, just by if uh, we hover over these little dots here and you get these uh, this icon that looks like two arrows with a line through it. If you double click right there, you can actually uh, you know move that pane completely off to the side. And why not? Let's do it to this one too. There, this doesn't look anything like the the default um, uh, setup for. For Fun Engine Pro, so we can delete the preference and and get the defaults back to to where it was uh, when you first, as if it was the, your first time starting up Fun Engine Pro. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, the preference files are located inside of your user's home folder, uh, library preferences folder. It sounds weird or or confusing, so let's actually just go to it. The quickest way I know of getting to your home folder is by clicking anywhere on your desktop. And then uh, there, you should see a Go menu up here. Click on Go, and then you have a Home button. All right, so here's my Home folder. And I'm going to go into Library. And then inside the Library folder, scroll down until you see Preferences. Not Preference Panes, Preferences. All right, inside there, um, we have all of our preference files. And the one we're going to be looking for is labeled com.insidersoftware. Oop, fontagerpro.fontmanager.plist. That's a big long name, but uh, um, what we're going to do is just move it to the trash. So um, you just click and drag. All right, it's in the trash. Now that it's in the trash, we can restart Fontage Pro. And I have it down in the dock here. Now, a lot of people are, are a little worried when they see this because they think that uh, maybe all of their fonts were, were deleted because they remember seeing the setup assistant the first time they set up Fontage Pro. Don't worry, this is just um, uh, setting up the preferences again. Uh, your fonts are fine. So we're just going to go click Next. Um, you know, this is, this is your default library, so we're going to click Next. Um, you could you could change uh, you could change these, but these are all default values. So again, Next. Um, since you already have your your uh, Photoshop plugins installed, um, deleting the preferences d did not take away the the plugins, so we don't need to worry about this at all. So next, and we've already got fonts in Fontage Pro, so we click finish, and there we go. Ah, much better. We have the windows back to normal. Um, you know the the font sizes, and let's check on. Yes, thank goodness, the font compare is back to default. So that is how you uh, restore Fine Engine Pro uh, back to defaults. Thanks.